everybody. I wanted to quickly do um, some video feedback for everybody. More than anything, just to kind of give them a, uh, an ex a reason for uh, why your grade is what it is. Uh, so you'll know what you can adjust to raise your grade um, if you decide to resubmit. Um, so I'll just go through these one at a time. Um, flipping back and forth between uh, the three. Most of the changes are very minimal, if really any. Uh, the things that um, I noticed mainly in this one is you have some very intentional, um, we'll call it like uh, uh, scribbliness or like um, uh, sketchiness to it. Um, but I think that this is really feeling a little like it's, it's hard to distinguish between what of that is intentional and what of it is just um, sort of a failure to, to go back and sort of clean up little little issues. like. Is that little spot right there where the the pink is peeking through? Um, is that intentional, or is that just uh, you know just sort of a lack of like going through and cleaning it up? Uh, you get the same with the gray, and just some of your lines just feel like they're doubled up because um, you didn't clean it up. So I think that along with I think that this is using a lot of um, the uh, um, the stroke tool or the stroke uh, to illustrate this. And so it all has that sort of rounded end to the stroke. Let me, I think I should have yours right on this. So you can just see how it kind of just rounds off there. And I think just by simply going in there and you know, grabbing some of that, this will never let me grab anything, um, and converting that to a different type of uh, uh, line. Yeah, Illustrator's being a, a jerk right now, so. Uh, just by grabbing one of these and changing it to a different type of um, stroke profile, uh, just to get you like some pointy edges, so they don't all feel this like computer generated edge would really just benefit this a little bit. So that would be really the only feedback I would give in that. I actually like some of the scratchiness to it. I just think it needs to feel more controlled. That it's intentional, not just um, uh, an issue with the tool. So, uh, Christina. Um, so going back and forth between, um, so we have the original, but I'm not really grading the original. We, we stepped up to version 2.0 here. Um, I think we're, I think some of the brush stuff isn't really necessary. And, and I guess we kind of talked about this as well, that like she, she kind of has a very smooth um, feel to her. Uh, and so some of this stuff here just that just feels like wrinkles or like grit around here with this brush. So I'm just not a, I'm not a huge fan of the of the brush unless that's intentionally something you're trying to say. But I don't I'm not really getting that that is um, intentionally what you're trying to say. Uh, I think some stuff here could be um, is sort of um, instead of drawing sort of how you're seeing it, it's more of drawing the idea of what it is. So, for example, the lips, we have this line, this dark line that goes all the way around the lips to help define them. Um, but there really isn't a dark line that goes all the way around the lips. There's a little bit of a, a darker area, maybe, that kind of profiles some of the top section here. Um, and then there's a little bit of a darker section that kind of profiles this. But to say it's a, that it's a dark outline that goes all the way around the lips is kind of more of that, like, drawing how we think of it, less of how we see it. And, and that's really actually um, more evident in the eyes. Like she doesn't have this sort of equally wide dark line all the way around her eyes. She kind of has this dark um, hook that happens up here in the top and then kind of spikes out into these eyelashes. So I think you got a little bit of the spike out to the eyelashes. It just feels like we drew kind of what we thought of, or you drew kind of what you thought of as the shape of an eye, not really how you're, you're kind of seeing it and getting some of that information from that. So I think really just pulling back from some of this um, and, and just kind of drawing more of the shapes you're seeing, not um, sort of the idea of what an eye looks like, but the shape of what you're seeing and you're interpreting that. Okay, so stepping back, Christina Brown, Courtney, um, looking really good. I think that there's a touch, yours actually I think is the benefit of it would just be to play just a little bit with sort of balancing out some of your lights and darks. I don't know if it's a color balance issue or what, but it's not even an issue. It's more of these darks are 
are feeling kind of bold and still kind of pulling my eye up there. So I think just playing a little bit maybe with some of the color tools, uh, color adjustment stuff, um, and some of the stuff that I hadn't really noticed so much in the critique, but now kind of looking at it with fresh eyes, is stuff like how this ear is being defined, or some of the shapes in the ear here are being defined, um, are a little, like just a touch less elegant than how you're kind of defining the nose here. These are some really like um, controlled and thought through um, like lines that you're making just to define uh, some very you know specific landmarks. And so to just kind of have this solid line that goes all the way through the ear, um, that's that's really the the only two things I, I really noticed. I think you could probably go back and look at that. Um, those didn't really come up in the critique, so that's um, you know, I, I didn't count off a, a terrible amount for that. But I do think that just to improve it as a whole, that would be the one of the few things that I would kind of kind of look at, and just sort of like how to balance sort of the color of the eyebrows with the color of the hair and skin. It's like it's more like a value thing. Like these are the these are really dark in comparison to this sort of saturation or, or brightness level of the hair and the rest of the, the brighter colors. So, um, Jessica, um, skipping down through here, uh, I actually really like this one quite a bit. Um, I'll try to see again what I was uh, looking at on this. Um, I think that the biggest note I would have would be probably um, to kind of, I, I kind of feel like there's just a very slight um, skewing of the perspective uh, going on in the jacket. And so, whereas uh, you, you got a really pretty strong like uh, foreground and then background going on here, and, and by the way you've kind of drawn your shapes in here, um, even though this is flattened out in sort of a cartoony way, this really, like the front of his face really does feel like it's a little bit further forward uh, than the back of his head. Um, and so this was kind of me nitpicking this a little bit more. Make sure I'm looking at the right one. Uh, this is kind of me nitpicking it more than I really probably needed to, because uh, I don't think I, uh, you didn't get very much counted off on this, but it kind of feels like because of the way these lines are going and because of like sort of how the shoulder slopes, it almost feels like the outside edges here are kind of pulling forward in space. Does that make sense? Um, and so, I don't know, that would just be one thing that, especially if you have, I don't know if you have another color to play with, but if you had another color to play with to add just a touch of, I don't know, maybe depth or something in here to kind of push those back. That's a very, very, again, very nitpicky, but that was the only, uh, only real notes that I had on that one. Um, so where are we at? Chewy. Um, this one I, I really liked quite a bit, um, especially with your revisions. I really thought that this stuff with the trees, um, I feel like you, well, I can't specifically see it, I feel like you changed or played a little bit with some of the values to kind of pull out some of the shapes a little bit, um, but I'm really liking just how this whole composition ended up working out. Um, I think that the only thing I would really specifically say to, to kind of look at, it's not specific, it's more generalized, is kind of what I, uh, I said with, with Courtney, is kind of playing just a little bit with the values to make uh, certain shapes sort of pull forward and go back. Um, you got all of the shapes in there that you need to kind of define that. And it would be little things like, what if you made this just ever so slightly darker or ever so slightly lar uh, lighter? Um, and just kind of pushing those and pulling those just a little bit to kind of get um, sort of the, the perfect like color balance in that, or, or color scheme balance, I guess. Um, but otherwise, yeah, this one was really good. Oh, this is neat. I didn't know I could do this. Um, so, uh, first off, Justin, on this one, um, I, I really like the progress from your first version to your final version. Your final version came out really good. Um, uh, especially, like, it was just a big improvement from here to here. Um, I think a really big improvement. Um, we talked about this in class, I think, or when you, you kind of asked me for additional feedback. The only little thing that I would say is I feel like his his hair is kind of falling into the background, 
and it just still feels like it needs a little bit of something to kind of make it pop out even if it's like maybe just a little bit of a highlight around the back or something just to kind of give us a, a little bit of a, a pop out um, looking at it now I also wonder if maybe a, an option is to take one of these slightly darker colors and give him just a maybe not a drop shadow but just something in the background back here that that, cr that kind of um, defines the profile a little bit more right there in the hair even if it's just like imagine some lines that go out back and through here and so where each of those lines end it kind of allows you to draw that like if a line was just going diagonally across the screen but going behind his head then when they would get to here when that line would end we would see that as a profile or something I don't know there's just something that needs to break it up just a touch so his hair doesn't disappear I kind of like that it disappears a little bit um, so I like that that's like it just still like that's just still a little too vague. Um, I also think I think this one's one that you could also benefit from just kind of playing with your 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 brightnesses and darknesses, like we talked about with uh, Courtney and I think Judy, um, and just sort of pushing some colors a little darker, a little lighter, uh, and just pushing those around. Now you did something that n not very many other people did that I was very happy with, which is you use these li this texture to kind of uh, get around the the color no, the number of colors that you were limited to and so by using what I believe is probably just the same color as this background but you're like stippling it as little individual dots that kind of make that ch uh, color change then you're getting a contrast and a kind of an, a, a free color an additional free color so really good job on this and this was a, improved a lot from from version one to version two so great job on that that's not what I wanted to happen at all. Um, let's see. So, Krista. Um, so this one also, you got a, a pretty, a pretty good um, improvement from version one to version two. Um, I feel like some of the, you got some really n nicely defined lines in here that feel very controlled, and then a lot of the stuff in the jacket, although better than version one. Um, still feel like it needs a little bit of cleanup to kind of to feel less like it's just your mount you moused in to get those shapes and then kind of left it um, maybe just to kind of refine that a little bit um, you know if this was done with a bob brush maybe you just go in there with the eraser and just kind of chisel that out and make that work a little better um, so what you have going on here in the face is you know even though you're just using what three maybe four colors in the face um, you get a lot of volume to that uh, in the jacket, you're using pretty much just this color and then a darker brown to kind of pop out your outlines. And that's really why we're getting some flatness here. So even if it was just, I don't know, maybe even the same color you're seeing in one of, like maybe this color here, going along your shoulder to show a highlight, and then maybe a little bit in the front here to, you know, to kind of show a shadow would really give you some more volume to his jacket and kind of bring that out. Um, it's also, I mean, it's a, a decision question on what to do with the background, but for some reason the stark white background, although you can make that work in some illustrations, and this one it's just feeling incomplete, like it still needs something, and that's maybe because you got so much going on in here that just like, even if it was just gray, like instead of white, um, that that would help. Now I don't, I'm I haven't counted all your colors, so it may not be uh, easy to do without having to add a completely new color, but uh, that would just be my uh, my two cents on that. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. Um, let's see what, what is another one I meant to do. Uh, if I hold down here, let's see, we got, how is Krista's, right? Yeah, so we got um, about half of them to go, so I'll, I should be able to finish that up in the next video. So um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.